I'm Kennedy. And I'm Carter. We're from the Patricios, and we love the movie that came out last summer, and the new series is so good. I like that it picks up where the movie left off. Thank you. I was awesome. going to say I love the masks, yeah. guys. They look sick. Yeah, yeah Raph. Right? Or... <laughs> if you could film one of the episodes live action, which would it be, and would you do your own stunts? <sighs> The Michael, the Michael Bay one, right? Or well, film an episode from the show live action. <laughs> oh, oh! I thought you were talking about the live action. Sorry. Um, I'd probably do my own episode. Yeah, I mean, we're all biased. I would hey, probably yeah. do my own episode just because I'd be cool, and I would love to do my own stunts. Although I'm a bit of a baby when it comes to that, so I'm very scared. So I would. There would have to be a lot of technical. Uh, uh, adjustments um, and a lot of CGI for me to do my own stunts, but yeah, I would try. Yeah, we'd have to do a lot of training. Oh, sorry, Shimon, go ahead. I was gonna say, I probably like, even though I would love to do my own episode, the only reason I'm gonna say the episode, any episode with all of us, is just because it's like we didn't get to, you know, like film together for, you know, the, the show. So it's like anything, like all of us together, it's like so we can lean on each other and just do some cool stuff because I would love to see how we will all adjust to it. That'd be dope. Yeah, I like your idea, Shimon. I'd love to do one of the last two episodes where the turtles come together because it'd be really fun to like portray these characters live action alongside you guys. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Doing our that'd own be stunts pretty and That'd be really cool. Who is the best at martial arts in real life? Well, uh, Brady, you have it's, like, <laughs> some experience, don't you? Uh, yeah, I did. I did jujitsu up until like probably third grade, and I'm a white belt, so. <laughs> I could, yeah, I could get down. <laughs> I can get down to karate. Yeah. No, I feel like um, I don't know. Shaman's probably got hands too. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. He has no hands. I, you can probably wrestle. You can probably wrestle. Uh, I used to do karate when I was a little jit. Um, I got up to a red belt. Thank you. I appreciate it. Red, uh, red belt. No, so, you did not. <laughs> so me and Brady, me and Brady, I think could compete for that. Uh, but who knows? Maybe Nick and Shimon got some some hidden talents that we haven't seen yet. So They're hidden to me as well. I will. I don't know where they would be. <laughs> I spoke for your job. What is your favorite thing about your character? Hmm. Shimon, you want to start this? Uh. I think just the kind of carefree, you know, energy that Mikey has. You know, he's just the fun one, the party dude. So I just love that he can just find light in any bad situation and enjoy himself. Yeah, I mean, I know Donnie, you know, he's very different from his brothers and he's known as the tech guy. But I think, you know, there's there's times where he really does embrace and like the uh, the fact that his brothers rely on him. So I like... I like that he kind of leans into the cockiness a little bit here and there. I would say my favorite thing about Leo watching the show was how good he fights. I'm just going to say it. Like, he's throwing some crazy kicks. He's throwing super cool punches. And it was really fun to watch. So I would say my combat prowess was a favorite. I would like to say... um I'd say his hot headedness. I say Raph's uh, like hot headedness. I think he he's kind of just like a ball of of energy, just really ready to go at at any time. And I think that everyone kind of needs that that guy in their group, you know, to to care take care of their bros and just be that older slash younger brother, you know. Yeah. yeah. What is your favorite pizza topping? I'm gonna hey. have to go pepperoni mushroom. Yeah, I'm with your mom with the bacon. Brady? I'm going to say pepperoni. Yeah, just keep it classic. <laughs> We're very boring. <laughs> Shimon, not apple smoked? Apple smoked? Apple. Uh, yeah. Apple what about smoked, you guys? Maybe. What about you guys? Um, um, just cheese. Just cheese. We're so picky. It's Just cheese? It's just I love cheese. a cheese. I love it. Hey, you can't go wrong. Plain you cheese. You can't really go wrong with that. Um, do you, did you get to record together for this series? Unfortunately, we did not, or at least, at least, yeah, no, we, we did, did not. not. Yeah, <laughs> we did not. Um, but I, I, I helped us, you know, dig deeper into our characters and you know, kind of find pieces that we didn't find in the movie, and kind of show, um, show off our characters' personalities a little more. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Great to see you. Have a good Thank one. You. Bye. Bye. Bye, y'all. Okay. Hi, I'm Kennedy. And I'm Carter. We're from the. Well, hi, you guys. <laughs> Those glasses are. Wild, they're awesome. Thank you. Thanks. We love the movie that came out last summer, and the new series is so good. I like how it picks up where the movie left off. What awesome. made you? 
What made you want to be part of this franchise and help turn it into a series? Well, for me, uh, if somebody comes up and asks me to have a lot of fun every day and tell stories about the Ninja Turtles, that's an easy yes. I'll say yes to that all day long. I love the Turtles. I grew up with them. When I was your age, uh, I was watching Ninja Turtles on TV. So I, I, I have the best job in the world. So it's uh, that was a that was an easy. Alan, yeah, it's pretty easy for me to imagine. There's a job, uh, you know, in their uh, little pantry, their cereal, and you eat and you draw Ninja Turtles. Like I definitely want to come back to that. <laughs> What kind of research did you do to prepare for the spinoff series? Oh, um, well, we watched the movie. That was, you know, just a lot of work, just watching Ninja Turtles. Um, and we talked to the guys who made it. Uh, Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg, Jeff Rowe, they were the guys that created the movie and their team. And we just kind of talked to them and heard what they were thinking when they made the movie, which was pretty fun. Um and then, you know, Alan and I kind of figured out what we'd want to do with it. And, you know, like we kind of came up with this idea of splitting the turtles up and kind of seeing what the turtles could do on their own against this big, uh, big robot adventure. Do you have a favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Uh, yeah, I do. I love Leo, the responsible one, but also likes to have some fun. I'm going to go with Donnie because he's uh, the smart one, the super nerd. He loves comic books and anime and all the things that I like. Do you have a favorite pizza topping? Ooh. Uh, the usual pepperoni sausage. Yeah, anyone that doesn't say pepperoni is kind of fooling themselves. It's the best. <laughs> what about you guys? Pepper. What are your favorite ones? Well... You're gonna be sad. We only like cheese. We're <laughs> my kids like cheese too. <laughs> How important was it to honor the comics for this series? Um, it's, it's yeah, everything. Alan, go ahead. It's everything. We definitely, you know, it's a forty-year-old franchise, and uh, you know, but it encompasses such a wide fan base, and uh, we definitely always want to honor the creators, uh, Kevin and Peter. Who you know created these turtles and enable like generations of kids enjoy like these awesome characters. So yeah, the comic book definitely holds a you know really big position when we do the shows. That's all the time we have. Thank you for um thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. Awesome. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.